May 8th, the apparition of St. Michael the Archangel. It is manifest from the Holy Scriptures that God is pleased to make frequent use of the ministry of heavenly spirits in the dispensation of his province in this world, and especially towards man. Hence the name angel, which is not properly a denomination of nature but office, has been appropriated to them. The angels are all pure spirits. They are, by a property of their nature, immortal, as every spirit is. They have the power of moving or conveying themselves from place to place, and such is their activity that it is not easy for us to conceive it. Among the holy archangels, there are particularly distinguished in holy writ St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and St. Raphael. Michael, whom the church honors this day, was prince of the faithful angels who opposed Lucifer and his associates in their revolt against God. The devil is the sworn enemy of God's holy church. St. Michael is its special protector against the assaults and strategies of the devil. This holy archangel has ever been honored in the Christian church as her guardian under God and as the protector of the faithful, for God is pleased to employ the zeal and charity of the good angels and their leader against the mal of the devil. To thank his adorable goodness for this benefit of his merciful providence is this festival instituted by the church in honor of the good angels, in which devotion she has been encouraged by several apparitions of this glorious archangel. Among others, it is recorded that St. Michael, in a vision, admonished the bishop of Sipanto to build a church in his honor on Mount Gargano in the kingdom of Naples. The Roman bravery gives us the following account of the apparition. A bull belonging to a man who lived on the mountain, having strayed from the herd, was found after much searching and was caught fast in the mouth of the cave. One of its pursuers shot an arrow in order to rouse the animal by a wound, but the arrow rebounding struck him that had sent it. This circumstance excited so much fear in the bystanders and in them that heard of it that no one dared to go near the cave. The inhabitants of Sepanto therefore consulted the bishop, who answered that in order to know God's will, they must spend three days in fasting and prayer. At the end of the three days, the archangel Michael intimated to the bishop that the place was under his protection and that what had occurred was an indication of his will that God should be worshipped there in honor of himself and the angels. Whereupon, the bishop repaired to the cave together with his people. They found it to be shaped like a church and began to use it for the celebration of divine service. Many miracles were afterwards wrought there. Not long after, Pope Boniface dedicated a church in honor honor of St. Michael in the great circus of Rome, but today's feast is kept in the commemoration of the apparition of St. Michael the Archangel on Mount Gargano. Not only is St. Michael the guardian of the Catholic Church, he also listens to the prayers of each individual member of the Church. God has given him a compassionate love for men, and there is not a single soul that escapes his notice. He wields the sword in defense of the spouse of Christ. He wars with the dragon who is ever lying in wait for the woman and her child. But at the same time, he is attentive to each one of us. For after having confessed our sins to Almighty God and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, we acknowledge them likewise to Blessed Michael the Archangel and beseech him to pray for us to the Lord our God. He assists at every deathbed, for his special office is to receive the souls of the elect on quitting their flesh. With loving solitude and princely bearing, he presents them to the light eternal and introduces them into the house of God's glory. St. Michael defeated the devil by humility. We are enlisted in the same warfare. His arms were humility and ardent love of God. The same must be our weapons. We ought to regard this archangel as our leader under God and courageously resisting the devil in all his assaults to cry out, Who can be compared to God?